So this is Larry. He's a very sick dog who we found about two weeks ago. Not every dog is easy to fix and it couldn't be more true for the lovely Larry who is sitting or standing on me, I guess, at the moment. He's a very tall dog, but he looks about, you know, eight foot tall at the moment. Uh, he is tall, but uh, maybe not eight foot tall. He's a dog that we found two weeks ago on the streets of Thailand. I saw him out uh, standing, looking miserable and sad. Um, we've been trying to fix him now for two weeks, um, but he's very, very thin and he's got some undiagnosed issues that we're working our way through. But this is Larry's story, and I'm gonna take him inside and give him some of his favorite roast chicken and tell you a little bit about how we are trying to turn his life around. Now, it's a very different video today. I've got big Larry with me, who is an absolute gentleman of a dog, aren't you? But you can see he's incredibly skinny. Um, and really what I wanna to talk to you about today um, is how much of a mystery Larry is. He's just staring at the wall. He's a very sick dog. I've actually brought a bit more chicken in with me. Larry, you like a bit of chicken? You're not sure, are you? So Larry is a very sick dog who we found on the streets. Um, and I found him standing exactly like he is at a little food market uh, down in the local village. And he was standing there looking a bit lost. Um, he's actually been with us two weeks now at this stage and we don't know what's wrong with Larry. We've tried absolutely everything. You can see his uh, rib cage here is really, really thin. He is, um, when I say we've tested everything, do you want to sit down maybe, Larry? Do you want to sit down? We have done blood tests. We have done his kidney tests, his liver tests, his thyroid glands have been tested. We have tested everything known to man or known to a vet for this beautiful dog. And amazingly, everything has come back clear. Every single test, absolutely clear. What Larry does love is he loves human company. So that's why he's in the office with me. Normally I film these videos in a kennel, but Larry has actually, one night he nearly killed himself. He nearly hung himself. So the first, about the third night actually, there was a bit of thunder and he, escaped. He just um, chewed a massive hole in the in the wire, which I've never seen a dog do before. And because he's so high up, such a big boy, he was able to do it um, really, really high. Do you want to sit on my lap, Larry? Oh, we'll make the video together. We'll make the video together, Larry. Um, he chewed his way out. He was literally um, spooked by the thunder. Um, and that was the first time. And we found him about, well, it could have been 10 hours later, but after we got to, got here in the morning when he was missing, it took us about three hours to find him. So that was incredibly worrying. Now, one thing that would be a massive help um, to myself and Larry and all the other street dogs out there is if you hit the subscribe button. Um, we'd be massively appreciative of that, wouldn't we, Larry? Isn't he a beautiful dog? Look at that face. We're gonna fix you, Larry. We're gonna fix you. Yeah, subscribe would be massively appreciated. Thanks. Thanks in advance. It really does spread the word. Look at that smile. There's a tiny little hand sized gap where we put our hands in um, for the dogs not to, not to escape. He wedged his head in there and I got a call about him at 8 p.m. at night. The security guard had found him there, nearly choked him to death. So that was just terrifying. So all is not well with Larry. He's a very, um, there's something wrong with him and I can't figure out what it is. I wish he would talk to us and tell us what it is. But Larry, I think, if I was to give you my guess, I think that he has some sort of brain trauma damage in his head and he's not quite right. I see him sometimes staring just into space like, like a dog wouldn't do. I have asked on this occasion, I've actually asked people what they think it is because you know, the more suggestions, the better. Usually suggestions actually can be kind of counterproductive for us because you get so many and we usually have a good idea what's wrong with the dogs, the vets, but he's been to five, six different vets now as has Larry and unfortunately today for, well 
fortunately, he got more clear tests. They were testing, I can't remember, I think it was his like glands today. And totally clear, no problems. But we've realized he's lost another kilo in the last week, which is a lot for a dog like him to be losing. And he's already very thin. So it's very worrying times for Larry. Um, and the next step is, all I can think of is getting him up to the, there's a special hospital, which is about 800 kilometers away. It's in a place called Hua Hin in Thailand. But what is so special about Larry is how much he loves human attention. This is a street dog who's very clearly spooked. Um, but he just, as, as long as he's beside somebody, that's why he's in here in the office. Um, but I've got, for example, roasted chicken here, rotisserie chicken. He ate some of it already. But if I put that under his nose, sometimes, let me just move your collar, maybe that's blocking is it? Sometimes he just digs straight in. Sometimes he looks at it. It's the most on dog like behavior. If I put that roast chicken in front of another dog, a hundred times out of a hundred, they would eat it in two seconds. But with Larry, I'm so delighted now that he's eating this. With Larry, he so we put it down sometimes and he just ignores it all day. So there's something wrong with him. We put sausages, we put bacon, everything. You know, like anything to like fish, uh, the stuff, cheese, anything. So it's it's not a, it's not. An, oh, I'm so happy you're eating that, Larry. I'm so happy for him. Um, it's not an appetite thing. Although today's attempt from the vets, I haven't I haven't fully seen what. Um, Sybil said there was a message saying, I think they're giving him, a, not appetite suppressants, but the opposite, like appetite st stimulants, I think, um, so as he can hopefully eat more that way. But um, that is very rare that he just eats chicken like that. We're, we're having to spend the, the budget of a small country keeping him in roast chickens, but I would buy him 10 chickens a day if he, if he would eat them. Um, so Larry's, he's struggling. Why aren't you a big fan of He's struggling, but he's also a very happy dog in terms of he loves being around people. Um, it's a mystery to me. I wish, you know, normally these videos I come on and I'm like, okay, this dog has a huge cut in its neck or this dog has, um, you know, a massive bite that we're not sure if he can survive. Larry is, is fine. He's not, you know, I don't want to say he's not going to die, but he's, you know, he's, he's in pretty good shape. Um, as you can see, his nose is nice and wet. So he's got a lot going for him. Um, his temper temperament is superb, but he's just really sick, really, really sick. And I think we're gonna have to send him to the hospital. It's not so much a financial decision because we'll always find the money, but it's probably, you know, to, it's probably a thousand dollars between getting him there, getting him back and just running a full battery of tests. Like I think they're gonna have to do things like an MRI. Maybe he's got something in his brain. Maybe he's got something in some of his organs, maybe, you know, we can't test any, we've, we've run out of tests on the island and every test that comes back, he's like all clear. Um, if you hear dogs in the background, it's because it's bedtime. They're all feeding, they get noisy at this time, but not Larry. The other alternative is, uh, um, I sort of were laughing about it. I was like, maybe Larry is just the smartest dog in the world and he's pretending to be sick because he gets into the nicest uh, part of the office. He's sitting on our laps all day and he's getting hand-fed roast chicken and he's got everything he loves. So maybe he's smart. Uh, no, it's, he's, he's very, very sick dog, but we're hopeful. We're hopeful. Uh, we're not going to leave any stone unturned for Larry. I think the hardest part is psychologically. I mean, look, it's Larry's the one who's sick, but for us psychologically, when you help animals and when it's not that money isn't a question, but we will find whatever money we need to make Larry better. We have whatever vets and resources on the island. We have roast chickens, you know, we'll do anything for Larry, but you know, nothing's working. That's really, really hard when you're, it's not that you feel you failed, because we, we are, I know we're trying everything, but you just really want him to get better. I don't think Larry is that old. If you look at his teeth, I would say he's maybe six, five, six, um, but he's just got a lot of things going against him. Like he's, he's uh, dogs, people might not, I see so many dogs, I know when they're sick, he's, his head's a little bit hollow up here, little indentations. And what that is, is um, I just know he's very underweight and very sick. It's That's a sure sign. When you see the indentations here and their sort of head sunken, if that's a word, that's when you know they're really sick. So 
We're going to keep trying everything for Larry. He's been here two weeks and we've made no progress in terms of figuring out what's wrong with him. But we're going to keep trying everything. If you really... Um... Hello, Jan. Do you want to come and say hello on the video? Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm just talking. Hey. This is Jan, uh, who looks after all the dogs and their health. What do you think is wrong with Larry? We don't know. It's hard to figure out. He's not fantastic with other dogs. Um, but yeah, so that's Larry. Uh, and we'll keep you posted. Um, if you... He, ate his, he, ate, he ate his other chicken, so he's had two whole chickens. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Larry. So thanks very much for watching the video. If you want to um, subscribe or like, that would be amazing. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!